Well, it definitely wasn't dead in the water. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Red Sky at Morning. This is a Supernatural episode that I've seen kind of people go back and forth on. Personally, actually, I really like this episode, and there's several reasons as to why. I like the inclusion of Bella. I kind of like the whole ghost ship aspect. Very much enjoy how they kill most of the victims. If the first one in the shower kind of lame, everyone afterwards is really, really good. I think some of the VFX has also aged pretty well. This is actually just a really fun episode to watch, both for a scare factor and for a comedy factor and for a character factor. The brothers have come to a town where people are kind of inexplicably drowning and then they also find Bella. And even though they have their past, they decide to work together to try and find out what's going on because Bella kind of has an insight about how to possibly take down the Dutchman, how to take down the boat, even though she is keeping a few things on her own. But something that happens before they even team up that is such a forgotten aspect is that the brothers fail to save someone. Someone dies right in front of them. Now obviously people die in Supernatural all the time, but seeing the brothers fail and watching it happen right in front of them is something that hasn't happened on a regular level. Like sure they've had cosmic fuck ups, like unleashing Lucifer and everything. But in terms of saving a regular person, I don't remember the last time this happened. So the brothers go to this gala thing where Dean puts on the suit and Bella has one of my favorite funny lines where she says we should have an angry sex and he's just, don't objectify me. And also I feel that Laura Cohen's really shines as her Bella character in this one. She is a conniving trickster, not on the same level as the actual trickster, but she's so good in this role. We see her put Dean in roadblocks. We see her verbally beat him in insult games all the time. It's fun to watch and it also helps build into the latter half of the episode. While Sam is getting groped by this cougar lady who, by the way, love her in this episode. She's so damn funny. The building, in fact, that they are in is this very old heritage building that's in Vancouver. It's a big ass house. I got to work there when I was working on a short called The Alderson Murders, which I really should talk about because that's on Vimeo now, if I'm correct. The dining room, like kind of where they're having like the wine and the dancing, that was a prep room. <laughs> that was kind of where people were having lunch. So while Sam's getting groped, Dean and Bella work together to get the thing, but then she pulls a fast one on them. However, the brothers then find out why the Dutchman is killing these specific people. What is the connection between all the victims? And it is that they are associated with the death of the family, whether literal, by their cause, are indirect. The two guys who died, they killed their father. The girl, apparently her cousin died in a car crash, and Bella sees the ship. And we find out a little bit, not a lot, just enough to give you this intrigue into this character that she's not just this kind of stereotype, one-sided cliche. And this aspect of her character would come up later on, right up until the end of the season. And I really enjoyed the flip dynamic here, that the brothers, while they hate her, and they see that she's done something, they also can't not save her, because they've already failed once, they're not gonna fail again, and they also can see that there is a little bit more to the story about Bella than they actually are being told from her. And then how they get rid of the ship is this really cool way where they make the evil ghost face the ghost of his brother who killed him on the boat and they collide and it's a mixture of water and air canceling each other out. Most of the effect is good. I would say it kind of pitters out once it stops going in slow motion. It kind of like bleh. 90% of it is very good and if anything still works to today. Then the episode ends with Sam and Dean having a heart to heart kind of about what's going on. Dean understands why Sam went and killed the crossroads demon and Sam just doesn't want to hear it anymore. He wants his brother to care that he's going to die. And Dean just says, eh, we're just going to play craps because they're going to Atlantic City because Bella paid them for saving her life. Very, very awkward if that was the last word. But that's the thankful thing about filmmaking is that awkward silences, you can just edit those out. Because why go through that in a show when you have enough of them in real life? Anyways, I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 7. I actually really, really wanted to give it a 6. If anything, I would give it a 5.5, but it just so happens to slide down into a 5. It's a great episode, but it's just not a great, great episode. The next episode down is Bloodlust, so make sure to give me your guys' comments about that episode, and as I said in the last one, I will be doing a read-through of all your guys' comments about episodes from the season. I'll be doing that later on, more so towards the end of my review for the season. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested more, subscribe. Otherwise, See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. 
It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.